Welcome to Tom's Hardware. My name is Caroline and today I'm presenting a Raspberry Pi hand washing timer. This hand washing timer is motion activated and plays a music clip while the LCD screen counts down 20 seconds. Why 20 seconds? With the global pandemic, health officials are recommending that we wash our hands often and for at least 20 seconds each time. Now, let me show you a quick demo. As I reach for my soap, I trigger the ultrasonic motion sensor, which plays a music clip while the LCD screen counts down for 20 seconds. When it's done, the LCD screen reads, all clean, great job, then it pauses and gets ready for the next wash. The materials you'll need for this project include a Raspberry Pi 3 or 4, a speaker, an ultrasonic sensor, and a small LCD screen. The full tutorial can be found on tomshardware.com. This tutorial is a four-part project, now let's get started. Part 1. I'll start by connecting a speaker to my Raspberry Pi. After I complete the necessary software setup as detailed on tomshardware.com, I'll run the Python script. If I get this part right, I'll hear music from my speaker attached to my Raspberry Pi. For my advanced users, you can replace the royalty-free music included with this tutorial with your own 20-second music clips. Part 2. In this step, we add the LCD screen to our project. The LCD screen will provide a visual 20 second countdown indicator for our hand washing timer. Let me show you how to connect your Raspberry Pi to your LCD screen. We'll start with ground. We'll connect the ground to the ground. Next, we will connect the five volts to our VCC on our LCD pack. Next, we'll connect pin number three on our Raspberry Pi to SDA and pin number five from our Raspberry Pi to the SCL on our LCD screen. After we complete the wiring, we can run the Python script. If your LCD screen is brand new, just as mine was, you'll probably need a small screwdriver to adjust the resolution. When you've completed this step, you should see the words welcome to Tom's hardware across your LCD screen. Part three. In this part, we'll connect the ultrasonic sensor. The ultrasonic sensor acts as our motion sensor, but with the ultrasonic sensor, we can set the distance between our hand and the sensor to trigger the 20 second countdown. In this section, we are connecting our ultrasonic sensor to our Raspberry Pi. I'll start with VCC, which connects to the five volt output of our Raspberry Pi. Next, we have TRIG, which will connect to GPIO 18 on our Raspberry Pi. And then we've got ECHO that will connect to a 330 ohm resistor. And out of that 330 ohm resistor, we'll connect it to GPIO 24. And from that 330 ohm resistor, we'll connect another resistor, a 470 ohm resistor, and we'll connect that to the ground rail. So I'm gonna make just my own little ground rail right here. And of course, then we've gotta connect ground to ground from our ultrasonic sensor. And I'll go right here. And then we wanna connect our ground rail to a ground pin on our Raspberry Pi. And that is the wiring for the ultrasonic sensor to the Raspberry Pi. After we complete the wiring, we can test our ultrasonic sensor by running the Python code. When you complete this step correctly, you can move your hand forwards and backwards in front of the ultrasonic sensor and see the distance measured on your monitor. Part four. In our final step, we pull it all together with the sensor that triggers playing music and the LCD countdown screen. As an optional step, I 3D printed this enclosure for my hand washing timer, the link to the files for the 3D printed enclosure, as well as the full tutorial can be found on tomshardware.com. Now let's run the Python code and see if it works. Great, it works. I hope you'll consider building your own hand washing timer. Thanks for watching. For Tom's Hardware, I'm Caroline Dunn.